We are reading from the letter to the Hebrews, which, if you want, this is a wonderful uh, book of the Bible. I highly recommend it. I, I just love it. Um, yesterday we spoke about how with God progressing, progressively revealing himself to us and how we are deeper in his presence and how he remains in us and we remain in him. And I've said this uh, before, but uh, when I was a young priest, when the priest pours the water, a few drops of water into the wine, and he says the prayer quietly by the mystery of this water and wine, that we come to share in the divinity of Christ, I almost left the Catholic Church. I was so shocked. I said, Adam and Eve got thrown out of the garden for thinking that they might be like God. How can we say we share in his divinity? After a couple of months of, of study, I, I actually realized that that's what the Bible says and that's what the church says and so that's what I believe. But there is an element to this that we must remember. <clears throat> we share in God's divine nature by our baptism. We are dependent on Him. We have, by God's gift of grace, what God has by His nature. And so everything in our life has to be dependent on God, on His grace, on His will. And so our reading today says, it was not to angels that God subjected the world to come. In other words, the whole world is subject to God. And so as it speaks of, of Jesus, all right, making clear that He is both human and divine, this reveals one who Jesus is, but also it reveals who we are. Uh, <clears throat> further on, uh, for it is fitting that he, for whom and through whom all things exist, all of creation was made through Jesus Christ, who is not created. So things are created by him, uh, through whom all things exist. That means he brought them into being, but it also means that he keeps us in being. Without him, we just disappear. And for whom? In other words, all of creation is made for God. This is something that I think we are really losing sight of in modern society. And there's a conservative version of this and there's a liberal version of this from a political or a social side. But both of them, both of them are when we forget that everything was made by Jesus. It's kept in existence by Jesus. It was made for Jesus. And if we cooperate with his grace, it will all be brought to perfection in Jesus. 